everybody knows that optocouplers are a little bit of a pain to work with. Uh, so what is actually wrong with optocouplers? There are many, but the main one for us is that the bandwidth of the optocoupler is limited. Okay? Uh, if you're trying to design a power supply with a very fast loop, you can't really do that because as you try to pass high frequency across here in frequency domain, this has an internal pole which will start cutting things off. So you'd be lucky to get anything beyond 5 kilohertz out of this unless you've got some special circuitry. So to represent this bandwidth, we typically show it with C opto. Right? This is not real. That is a parasitic inside of the, of the optocoupler. But you can see that by pretending that it is a capacitor, it's now our pull-up and C opto are forming a low-pass filter, which will allow us to start analyzing the optocoupler, taking into account its bandwidth. Uh, there is a fantastic book by Christoph Basso, uh, which explains this in a great, de uh, great detail. Uh, also, he has written some uh, very nice application notes uh, which are available on the internet. To design a stable opto isolator compensator, therefore, we must take into account the bandwidth of the opto into consideration. You cannot buy, you cannot make a power supply with a bandwidth of 10 kilohertz if your opto is cutting off at 5. And in order to do that, you need to locate the position of this pole, and therefore you need its body plot. 